Hi, I'm Kim. I'm a paranormal investigator and researcher, and I'm going to share with you all things paranormal right here, right now. First, I want to talk to you about intuition. What do you know about intuition? Do you have it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure everybody has it. And it wasn't until recently that I was able to maybe classify myself as an intuitive. I didn't want to believe that I was special in any way, shape, or form, but we're all special, right? Intuition is one of those tools that you can use in the field, but you can also use it right here at home if you want to find out if your house is haunted or if you maybe want to connect with a loved one or a spirit guide. So let's dive into it, shall we? Yes, I do use paranormal investigation equipment when I'm out in the field, especially if I'm conducting an investigation that's on television or YouTube. And it's one of those things that offers a little bit more credibility as to what I'm already feeling in my intuitive mind. I've had dreams, many, many dreams, many, many moons ago about people who have passed that are loved ones. Again, I still didn't want to classify myself as an intuitive person or a medium or anything along those lines. I don't like being in a box. Anyway, here we are. So let me tell you about two of the things that I've learned throughout my journey. It's just something that you can tap into. But first, let's turn on Spirit Talker and see if maybe the spirit world wants to connect and tell us something we didn't already know. It's like a conversation starter for the afterlife, right? Loading, 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 loading. Is it even on? I don't even know. It looks like it's on. It looks like it's working. Okay, let's just let that cook. One of the first ways that you can tap into your intuitiveness is listen to your body. And I'm talking like the first 10 seconds that you walk into a room, whether it's a creepy space or a beautiful space. As I've said before in some of my investigations, looks can be deceiving. Hi. Hi. When you first walk into a room, what are you feeling? Are the hairs on your arms standing up on end? Are you feeling sick to your stomach? Are you feeling gross? Like, can you not stay in that space whatsoever? Or are you feeling joyous and happy and peaceful? That in itself is gonna tell you everything you need to know about that space. Trust me, it's the 10 second rule, works every time. The next thing that you can do is you can start to imagine what kind of life experiences happened in that space. So was there someone in the kitchen cooking spaghetti? Was there somebody in the kitchen making brownies? Mm, no, spaghetti feels, spaghetti feels right. But let me try to change that one more time. So what I would encourage you to do is try to change that initial thought. And if you can't change that initial thought that you had, the spaghetti, then trust the spaghetti. You know, maybe you're dealing with somebody or something that hated spaghetti. Maybe they loved spaghetti. Maybe they choked on spaghetti. I don't know. What I do know is that we have the ability to communicate with people who have passed. Other entities will say- Margaret. We can also connect with Margaret. Margaret, I don't know who you are. Do you wanna tell me who you are? There are so many other devices out there that you can use to communicate. You can use a Ouija board. Not necessarily recommended, but we'll get there at another time. You can use different frequencies. You can tap into your spirit Keep guides. Going. You can use dowsing rods, you can use K2 meters, you can use REM pods. But the first thing I wanted you to get comfortable with was your intuition, because it's like, it's the best tool, like the best. And you got it, you know you got it. There are so many ways that you can communicate with the other side. You just have to have the willingness and the patience to see maybe what they really wanna tell you. So I'm gonna leave you with this super creepy thought. If in this instance, with intuitiveness, you have the ability of communicating with something on the other side that is no longer here on the living side, and you don't have to open your mouth, you can all just do this telepathically, does that mean when you walk into a super creepy room that whatever spirit or entity is in that room waiting for you can feel your fear? Maybe.